Hey ladies, I'm back to do, um, I always say that. I'm going to review and do a first impressions review on the Bobine Stimulant Conditioner. And I must say my lip is looking pretty good. Um, it's not back 100%, but I would say 95%. But um, anywho, um, I use this to pre-poo. And y'all know what um, my pre-poos, I kind of make my own using Tresemme Naturals, basically. And um, just a bunch of oils, like grapeseed oil. Um, I dab a little bit of my peppermint oil in it. I love peppermint oil. That's one of my favorite oils and tea tree oil. Y'all know I have scalp issues, flaking and stuff. So um, I always put peppermint oil and tea tree oil in like my, you know, um, pre-poo mixes, um, whatever it is. And sometimes I would eat, I used to put it in my, um, oil rinse mix as well. Um, but now it's just the mustard seed oil and the Vatica coconut oil. But anywho, um, this conditioner from Bobine, you can use it many ways as one of those conditioners that can be used um, many ways. You can pre-poo with it. You can use it as a rinse out, a leave-in, and a deep conditioner. Um, I chose to use it as a pre-poo. Um, this would be, for me, an expensive rinse out conditioner, although it's not that expensive. It's $10, I believe, regular price. Unless that was just like an introductory price. I'm not sure, but I did get like 10 or 20% off. But I'm not sure if $10 is the normal rate because I got this when she just like introduced it. Um, but I'm thinking it's, it's $10. So it's not expensive, but for a rinse out, you kind of just want like a cheapy conditioner like Tresemme Naturals where you get like a 32 ounce bottle or 16 ounce bottle for less than five bucks um because you're just rinsing it right out um a leave-in i don't think i would use this as a leave-in um i think i would just keep this keep this in the conditioning like pre-poo because it's helping to condition my hair as well as it helps to soften my hair where i can detangle as well um, I might even use this as a deep conditioner as a backup. I pretty much have my staple conditioners, which the vanilla um, whiskey by Basque is one of them. My protein and then the cacao bark is another one. Um, what other conditioner do I have that I would say? But yeah, um, for the most part, um, the Basque is basically my like go-to uh, deep conditioners. Um, I will say that I will add this on, and this is it. These are the, are the ingredients. Hopefully, it's not too fuzzy. I will leave it here for a couple of seconds while I'm talking to you. Um, and what was I saying? This is an eight ounce. That's her web address on the bottom of the um container um i did do a video showing me putting it in my hair as um applying my pre doing my pre-poo and detangling it is of a whip consistency i also showed that as well but i show it again so it is of a whip consistency as you can see um that's how much i have left after i used it it is it does have a lot of slip it's soft and creamy again like a, like a light whipped consistency it doesn't look like it's a lot in here because of the whipped consistency of it i did use my spoon to dip it out i was very generous with it because it is my pre poo so i want to make sure i get it in there good um I like this. I, um, I like the fact that when I put it on, I was able to instantly detangle my hair. That's a big thing for me with any um, 
conditioner except for my deep conditioner um i don't necessarily have to that's why i detangle my hair before um but it helps but um for the most part if i could just finger detangle with my deep conditioner to kind of like get through my hair a little bit but for the most part i detangle during the pre-poo um phase and i try not to ruffle my hair up too much when i shampoo but i like this conditioner i was saying i'm sorry i'm all over the place because I like the fact that I can detangle it. It's it softened my hair to, for me. And it had a lot of slip too. It had very good slip for me to be able to detangle my hair. Finger detangle um, after it has been up all week um, in a ponytail. And I did not detangle even actually, yeah, maybe about a week. Because um, I had my hair up in a ponytail when I took my twist out and basically I did not detangle my hair anymore. Um, I just flat twisted it just the way it was. And once I took it out, I just put it back up in the ponytail. So um, yeah, my hair was pretty tangled. It dries out when it's out like that um, and not twisted and put up. My hair dries out very quick within the day. Um, but I just need to spritz water on it to reactivate the product. I really didn't need any more product in my hair because I could still feel it in there. It was just that, you know, with it being, um, it's been basically between 107, it was 114 today. Um, so that's how hot it's been. And that will, and I haven't been the best with drinking water. So that will sap the life out of your hair. Um, for the most part, especially when it's out, you know, and exposed to the environment, especially these types of conditions. But anywho, um, so that was an A plus. Another A plus for me is that I love peppermint. Peppermint is one of my favorite oils, even peppermint candy. And you can smell the peppermint, even though it's number one. It's number 13 as I'm counting on the list. So it's basically second to last because the last one is a natural preser preservative. But peppermint oil, you don't need a lot of it. Or I, I don't know if she used peppermint oil. She just says peppermint. But anywho, peppermint is very strong. So you definitely don't need a lot of it. You definitely can smell it. And when you put it on your hair, you definitely can feel it on your scalp. And um, I did massage some, you know, massage it into my scalp, you know, the best that I could. And I combed and I finger detangled it through. Um, even when I, I can still feel it actually <laughs> now. And even when I rinse my hair out, I rinse my hair out in twists because um, I'm trying a new method of washing my hair but let me finish this i rinsed it out with the twist still in and i could still feel like the the menthol pepperminty if that's a word like sensation through my hair my scalp um you could smell it still i just like the peppermint feeling um so that's a number two plus i would definitely buy this again and keep this in my um stash as a backup conditioner this is a very good in my opinion um very good spa you know when you want to treat yourself to like a spa day with your hair um definitely you can make pre-poos pretty cheap just using oils or like i said a cheapy conditioner and dumping some oils in it but if you want like um a spa day to where you're using your more expensive deep conditioners that smell like chocolate and you know and all of that stuff, I would definitely say give this a try. Um, I don't think you would be disappointed. Y'all know I disappointed. I love her shampoo bars and um, she's not expensive. She's very reasonable. Ten dollars for eight ounces. Where you gonna find that at, boo? You not and I. This is good. I like this. 
I would definitely keep this in my rotation. Like I said, the detangling property, um, the peppermint filling, the minty filling on your scalp. Um, my hair was soft, you know, um, my hair felt nice. Um, although I rinsed it out with the twist in, I did feel my hair. It was nice. My hair felt very nice. So this is a go for me. And she's always running some type of, um, she always has some type of discount, you know, whether it's 10% or 15%. So I would definitely, I'm definitely going to be going to stock up on this um, Black Friday as well as my soaps. And um, I will be ordering me another one of these just until I could get to Black Friday because um, I really like this. I really like the way it felt on my hair. And I don't get this type of feeling when I put my peppermint <laughs> oil <laughs> in my little concoctions. I don't get the, the tingly feeling. I can smell it, but I don't you know, get the tingly feeling. So yeah, go check her out. Laquita is her name. She's a sweetheart. Very, 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 very good customer service. Very, 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 very sweet lady. She will get back to you quicker than before you can close out your, your email. You know, she'll get back to you. She's on Instagram big time. Um, I washed my hair with the Coco Rasu clay bar. And I have a big one that I bought from her on Black Friday because I believe Black Friday, she has something crazy like a 25% off, which y'all know her bars of soap are like what, five to seven dollars. So, I mean, so this is the Coco Rasul clay bar. This is my clarifying bar. Um, it's been two weeks since I washed my hair. And I did, um, I do like to clarify my hair more often. So this is the box that it comes in. As I said, I bought this on Black Friday. I don't use it all the time. So that's why it's lasting me. But she also do have um, sample bars and her sample bars last for a few good washes. And you get, I believe, four bars for five dollars which is not bad and it's any of her bars that she i believe sells including her facial bars you get four bars for five dollars um unfortunately i don't have any more to show you um right now because i don't have any sample bars i probably i gave them to my kids or <clears throat> whatever and i'm not gonna go bother them with that but um yeah so if you want to try her out you know, her sample bar is four for five dollars. She ships quick. Her um, shipping is reasonably priced. I can't remember what it is offhand, but it's no more than, I believe, if it's that much, six bucks. And it may not be that much, five ninety five. dollars um, So her shipping is very reasonable. Um, so far, these are the only products that I use. I'm deep conditioning my hair now because I need to do a protein treatment. I haven't done one since I did my henna. So it is about time. Excuse me. And again, this is what um, I shampooed with. So um, check it out. Boobing, boobing. Give her a try. Very sweet lady. Um, I will try, y'all know how I am with links. I will try to remember to leave her email in the description box because some people just be fussing at me about them throwing links. So um, yeah, I'm going to try to remember to put her link in the description bar. But if I don't, just pay attention to the video. <laughs> Write it down. <laughs> remember it. <laughs> no, I'll try to put it in the um description bar um i'm still loving my horsetail comb best dollar 55 i ever spent oh and i always forget to do this but these are my two shed hairs i believe 
This one is from combing my deep conditioner through the, the vanilla whiskey by Bass. And this one was from finger detangling as I was um, putting my pre-poo bow bean stimulant conditioner in. So hopefully there won't be too much more shedding. Um, I know my hormones are trying to, this is it all together. I know my hormones are trying to work itself out. Um, yeah, um, so hopefully because I have my products that I used it kind of helped to get me back on track, um, excuse me, last year, um, I could kind of get ahead of the game when it comes to the shedding because that shedding that I had last fall and winter, it was ridiculous and out of control. And I think the reason why my hair wasn't really thinning out is because as it was shedding, it was growing. So I really wasn't missing anything. Um, but yeah, I had seriously, if you go back and look through some of my videos from, I believe, I want to say November, maybe in October, November until December, maybe early January, my shedding was ridiculous. Um, but again, you know, I had a hysterectomy, um, didn't quite know what was going on until I talked to some ladies who told me, you know, your hormones is working itself out and also anesthesia. So, um, yeah, so I'm kind of trying to prepare or kind of like just doing things to my hair that maybe would help to stop it in its tracks. And hopefully the henna will be one of them. Um, so, yeah, that's it. So uh, thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please leave your comments in the box below. Don't forget to share the video on Google+. Give me a thumbs up and peace.